Good day ladies and gentlemen, according to Government of Singapore Investment Corporation, GIC, Chief Executive Officer Lim Chow Kiat in a recent interview, as a sovereign wealth fund, GIC's purpose is to manage part of Singapore's reserves, but beyond its primary goal, the fund also considers the impact of its investments, including on people and the environment. In allocating capital to these different communities around the world, it also has a positive impact in terms of supporting businesses, building infrastructure, creating jobs even, said CEO Lim Chow Kiat. So why is GIC let Singaporeans down? In its most recent annual report released on 26 July 2023, GIC had set its 20-year annualized real rate of return, came in at 4.6% for the year. This was up from 4.2% in the previous financial year. In contrast, Norway's sovereign wealth fund made a profit of 143 billion US dollars in the first half of 2023 alone, which is equivalent to an annual return of 20% and is more than four times the rate of return that GIC is able to achieve. Unlike GIC with its multiple concerns such as the impact of its investments, including on people and the environment, as well as having a positive impact in terms of supporting businesses, building infrastructure, Norway's sovereign wealth fund solely focuses on making as much money as possible. If GIC can focus on its primary duty to Singaporeans instead of being distracted by the airy-fairy goals mentioned by its CEO Lin Chow Kiat, perhaps it would be able to be half as successful as Norway's sovereign wealth fund and Singapore would not need to increase the goods and services tax, GST, from 7% to 9% as a result. In fact, if GIC were to be even half as successful as Norway's sovereign wealth fund, Singapore would have been able to reduce GST to 5% from the current 7%. In subsequent videos, Professor Ma will explain more aspects of life. In the meantime, please help by liking and by subscribing. Thank you.